What's going on, y'all, man? So today, we are going to be looking at the best abilities for every position. You know what I mean? Offensive linemen, quarterback, defensive backs, D linemen, all them boys, right? We're going to be looking at all these boys that are the best now. I put a whole bunch of man so far this year. I know what's good. I know what's bad. I know what's not working. I know what's working. So let's get right into it. And we're not going over every single ability. We're going over the ones that are good, right? The ones that you, sh that you should use. Not the ones like we don't like. Let's just start it off bad. We're gonna start with O lineman, right? So the best one to use is edge protector, right? Your left tackle, right tackle. Now you don't have to use edge protector, right? You could just rock it, rock nothing. But for me, I think I gotta have edge protector, bro. You know what I mean? You gotta have it. Really, the only ones that I would say are at least usable uh, all day. I'm not 100% if it works. But if you were to use all day, I would say use it on a center. Try it, try it out on your center. But uh, yeah, I would definitely uh, edge protect it for your left tackle, right tackle. I think that's a must. And you could try identifier, right? But it is two ability points, you know what I mean? So, and same with direct detector, it's two ability points. But I think direct detector, the only ones I think are good for the lineman, edge protector all day, and maybe identifier if you have room for it. So, those are the only three I say are really valuable. The rest, pretty much pointless. So, off to the next position. Uh, next stop, we got the tight ends. I got my boy Jer Michael. But yeah, all right, tight ends. I got no buddies on my tight end. Uh, I switch my buddies around a lot though. So tight end, tight end apprentice is a uh, definitely very good ability to have. A matchup nightmare. Those are probably the only two I would say. At least that you can get right now. Eventually, you know, where is uh. Oh yeah, tank, eventually, we're speaking on the ones that we can get right now. No one can get tank right now, but yeah. So, I'm speaking on right now. Only ones that you can get right now are Tight End Apprentice and uh, Matchup Nightmare. I, I actually went against a guy. I don't know if the video is up yet, but I'm going to be able to win a video of a guy with Tony Gonzalez with Matchup Nightmare, and he just kept snagging the ball over time. It, it was insane, but yeah. So, Tight End Apprentice, right? Change him to any tight end hot route, and then Matchup Nightmare, which is supposed to be better, like, Aggressive catching against like linebackers, but it's safeties too from what I've seen. So I actually want to low key try matchup name, or if anyone's tried it out, tell me like, is it really overpowered like that? I know it's good, but yeah, so those are the two for tight end. The rest is kind of like red zone threat, doesn't seem like it really do much. There's no point of slot on Matic because why would you, why would your tight end be in a slot, right? Like, that doesn't make sense. So just those for tight end. Now let's, uh, what do you want to do next? Should we do quarterback, running back, receiver? Let's, who gets the most abilities from me? I don't even know. Might be Andre Johnson. All right, let's do receivers. Receivers, there, there, there's a lot of abilities you could try out. I, I switch my abilities a lot on receivers, so. Outside apprentice, right? Change your outside receiver to any, uh, high route for there. That's definitely a good one. I've used it a couple times. Route tech, that's the one I'm rocking with right now. That's just the one I feel the most comfortable with. Uh, I do like I, I feel like it works sometimes and sometimes it don't. It's just how it is, man. But so outside of Prentice, Route Tech, uh Slotomatic's really good. I had that a while on uh, Mark Clayton. It seemed like it put in good work. And uh the other one would be uh Slot Apprentice. Slot Apprentice because some uh Andre Josh doesn't get it right now, but definitely other receivers do get it right now. So really the only good abilities right now for the receivers, slot apprentice. Uh, outside apprentice, route tech, and slot automatic because that's that's pretty much what everyone gets right now. Those are pretty good. So it's either you get the choice of do you want to be able to change your slot to any hot route, your outside receiver to any hot route, or do you want your slot receiver to be really good at uh, improve his route running and catching, or do you want route tech where it's all around better route running? So I just rock with I just rock with route tech, bro. You know what I mean? I just rock with that. Um, no one else gets. I don't think anyone gets a wide receiver apprentice right now. Someone, hold on. Does, that, does anyone get wide receiver? If anyone gets wide receiver apprentice, that would automatically be better than uh, outside apprentice and slot apprentice because it's both in one. But I'm not sure if anyone gets it. But yeah, that too. But I, I don't. I don't think anyone gets it yet. So that's basically for the receivers, right? The rest of those, like the deep ends, the mid outs, those shits are ass, bro. Those, those abilities suck, right? Next up, let's head over to running back, RBs. Right, I got reach for it on, but I don't know if I would consider it one of the best abilities, right? I would definitely say backfield master. That's a pretty good one. Um, 
evasive. That is obviously that it's it's you know Duke suspense, but four ability points that's kind of dead. Uh, backfield mismatch actually not that bad. It's uh so basically your route running is uh, uh well, okay. no no your your route running is better. It's just better, right? When you when you're uh, I think in this game they count. When you put a safety a linebacker, I think they count him as a linebacker. So if that if that's the case, then yeah, it's about it's better route running against safeties and linebackers. And backfield master, you get to change the high routes for the back running back. And you get to choose, you know, like the other shit. And, you know, I just went over evasive. I have reach for it on, but I would not consider reach for it just because uh, I feel like it doesn't activate as much. Like, honestly, I'm probably gonna take it off because it it, it, just, it barely activates and it's. It's what's the point of having the ability when it, it does the reach for the animation without the ability, so fuck that and I don't think Uh I don't think so what else? there's also there's uh Bulldozer and what's the other one where it's like uh bruiser? I think I don't know if Bo Jackson gets bruiser, I think he does. So I would say the best of for the running back, backfield master, evasive, uh backfield mismatch. Uh, Bruiser, uh, Arian Foster doesn't get it, and I'm not gonna say Jukebox because evasive is your main, but yeah, so I'd probably say those four because uh, Bruiser is basically uh, it's what it's uh, arm bars and trucking, if I'm not mistaken, right? Arm bars and trucking, so stiff arms and trucking. Uh, I think I think either Derek Henry or Bo gets it, so one of the one of them two get a be as so those are the uh, best one for the running backs. I'm probably going to take Reach for it off area, and I keep forgetting because, like I said, they don't activate, and this is no point. All right, QBs. All right, I've used pocket quarterbacks and mobile quarterbacks, so I can speak on both of these. I use a pocket quarterback for the most part of this year, so. For sure, Escape Artist, really good uh, ability to use. Uh, if you're using a mobile quarterback, you got to have it. Roaming Dead Eye is really good. Uh, it's ba Roaming Dead Eye, do not use Dashing Dead Eye because Roaming Dead Eye is Dashing Dead Eye, but better because... Uh, like even when you're running while throwing the ball, it gets it's a glitch. It still activates because yeah, it's terrible. Man, it's terrible, and uh, it it goes for more yards. Like I think dash your dot eye. It's only accurate for 40 yards. Roaming is like the whole field, so don't use dashing. Escape waters roaming dot eye. Uh, anything else really here? Quick draw isn't bad. Uh, quick draw isn't bad. You know what I mean, but. If if you have the chance to get roaming that I take that over, but quick draw definitely isn't bad. It's for like uh, fast throwing animation, two hundred pressure. It's it's I I really wouldn't say fast break. Uh, really nothing, none none, none of else of these. I'm not gonna say a dental because we said that for linemen. And okay, so high round master for sure. Dan Marino gets that. That is a very good ability. Um, like I said, not dashing that I that shit is ass. Um, and set feet lead. Uh, what's it called? Dan Marino also gets that, and I would say, because we're basically doing so for the pocket quarterbacks, like for what they can get right now, escape artists, roaming that like quick draw for the uh, pocket boys, for the mobile or no 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 for the for the mobile quarterbacks for the Vic Lamar's and them right, for Dan Marino and the pocket guys, it's fearless, because uh, that's basically when you throw the ball, like the under pressure shit is going, and no matter what, it's going to be accurate. There's no under pressure, so fearless. Set feet lead. That basically, when your feet are set, he's gonna lead throw the ball every time. So there's that. And then a uh, hot route master. You can change anybody's route on the field to a hot route. So yeah. So those are the three for the pocket boys and mobile. I've, like I said, I used the pocket quarterback for the most part until Vic came out. So I, I knew that for I knew how all that works. So that's offense. Boom. Turn it over to the D. Uh, let's yeah, start off with uh the safety. B dog, B dog, B dog. Right, I got I, I literally have pick artists on. So I'm not gonna recommend pick artists. I just dropped so many picks, bro. I, I'm probably gonna take it off, but I don't know. All right, so for safeties, uh, I will I will recommend bench press for safeties for any safety that is good at man and if you actually man up your safeties, right? So I will recommend bench press only for that. All right. I'm not gonna say pick ours just because I don't know if I, everyone deals with the same problem as me, but yeah. Right, acrobat for sure. Uh, I, I have it a lot, and then I take it off a lot. I don't know. It's just because it's you know diving swine interceptions are pretty big this year, so definitely acrobat. Um, that's really all beat all gets. 
Uh, I know. Hold on, let me see. I definitely have Enforcer sucks this year, but I don't think anyone gets Lurker yet. Um, and I would also say Run Stopper. I guess Beat Off doesn't. Does he not get it? Really? Well, that's weird. All right, but yeah. So I would say the three for uh, safeties is Bench Press, Acrobat, and I would say uh, Run Stopper. But only put Run Stopper on your safeties. If you're putting them at linebacker, like if they're still playing like the deep safeties, don't don't put run stopper on them. Run stopper is where you, they get uh, better block share animations when trying to stop a run. So I would like to use it, but the safeties I have playing linebacker don't really because I got Isaiah Simmons and Terrell Edmonds. I need to get rid of Terrell Edmonds, but yeah. All right, so that's basically it for the safeties. Um, outside linebackers and D linemen. Or, or no, outside linebackers and DNs, we're going to put them in the same category because they're kind of the same. So who should we look at? Do we want to look at Miles? I mean, I guess we could look at both, but well, I guess we'll start off with Doomerville. Right, off rip for the, the outside rushers. Uh, edge threat, 100%. Now, that, that, that is a must. Um, El Toro, I heard, is good. Um... But I, I don't know. I, I I would definitely say edge threat for sure, right? Uh, hold on, let me look at everything because they got a lot. So edge threat for sure. Um, let me see. Da, 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 da. Um, I would say inside stuff, but not for the outside linebackers. So really, edge threat. I would say like if you're gonna put abilities on your outside linebacker, in all honesty. Like you you can only use edge threat. Like if you, only edge threat. I'm, I'm just gonna keep it real with you, like. That is the only ability I would say to put on an outside rushing defensive lineman. Or at least linebacker. I would say only edge threat. Like, there's really nothing else I would say to put on him. Besides edge threat. Like, I I only use pass rushing once, so I can't speak with new coverage boys. Miles Garrett. I'm, if I'm, so, the D lineman, uh, I don't think there's, there shouldn't be any different, really, right? Yeah. Anyone that's like an your outside rusher, edge threat. It's got to be edge threat if you're going to put an ability on them. Nothing else but edge threat. So, um, Middle linebacker. I don't use abilities for middle linebacker. So, I'm not. I, I would guess. This, I would probably say. Um, I would say acrobat. But I'm not 100% sure. Like if acrobat's going to react the way it does for the corners and safeties. But I will say acrobat. Right. I'm going to say acrobat. Uh, he doesn't get run stopper. Hold on. Huh. I, I would definitely say a run stopper because, you know, it's a fucking linebacker. And, um, so apparently, okay, so apparently Sam Mills gets lurker. But I don't know, like, I'm not going to recommend it for the middle linebacker just because I don't think he's going to get, like, the better, good animation like a safety would. So I'm not going to say that, but I would definitely say run stopper. I, maybe acrobat just because you know what I mean and that's probably really it. There's really nothing else for that. So Personally, I like I said I don't use line. I, Sam Mills would be he'd be in the game for me in 335, but just as a spy, you know what I mean? So All right, so now we're, we're gonna look at D tackles then corners and then uh, I, I guess we do kicker, right? I mean Now I you I had a buddy on my D tackles. I don't anymore. The best one for sure is uh, where's it at? 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 Inside stuff. Inside stuff is really the best one for D tackles. Uh, I took it off just because I, I I had to put bench presses out on the field. So inside stuff definitely the best one for D tackles. Uh, let me see what else. Um, I don't know what exactly. I like. I, I, I don't know if anyone can confirm is run stopper good for a D tackle. Like I don't, I don't know. Maybe it is. I'm just gonna say inside stuff for now. Um, I'm trying to see. Does he get Ripper? Cause I know Ripper is okay. Yeah, yeah. If you want a uh, Ripper, I think is probably the a good pass rushing one. If I'm not mistaken, Ripper moves partially ignore blocker. Ripper is probably the best pass rushing one for a D tackle. Possibly. I don't know anything else really. Um. Yeah, I would probably say, I don't know, I'd, I'd probably say Ripper. If you want to have your D tackles better at pass rushing. So inside stuff and Ripper, probably the only good D tackle buddies. A lot of these are just kind of like really random and I don't really understand them. So, but I know, I know Ripper is definitely supposed to be kind of decent. You know what I mean? So that's it for the D tackles.
Because, like, as you can see, there's a lot of abilities that are just, like, nothing abilities. Like, they don't mean anything, and they're just not really, they're not good. So, corners. Um, obviously, the best one, bench press for sure. You got, right now in the game where, where it's at, you got to have bench presses, right? Um, acrobat, that is definitely, you know, I don't have it on because I, I can't have both, but, yeah. And, really, he could get jukebox? What the fuck? Uh... I'm really not going to say one step ahead because I'm not a big fan of one step ahead. I really don't think that ability is that good. I would really probably just say bench press and pick artist, really. Wait, what did I, I said pick artist. No, bench press and acrobat. Those are probably the only two I would say are really, like, really the go-tos right now. The rest is just kind of like, like, a lot of these abilities are just random. Because like, I used flat zone okay. I've used it all. Deep zone, deep out, boom. <laughs> Mid zone, bro. Oh, fuck. Excuse me. God damn. Yeah, I use them all, bro. A lot of them suck. Like, they just don't feel like they do anything. But Bench Press Acrobat, they're definitely the the go-tos right now, bro. You know what I mean? They're, they're the go-tos. And then, if you got more than Anderson, uh, for me, the ability... I can't believe... Am I, do I really got to go over this? But, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to go right? Uh, you get you, you get two abilities. You get Focus Kicker, where the kick meter's slower. Or you get Clutch Kicker, where they can't ice you. Which is what I picked because, look... I don't need the bitch for me to be that slow. Just don't ice me. As long as I'm not getting iced, I'm cool. So, yeah. Those are basically all the abilities in the game that I think are top tier right now. I said, I played a lot of matters, so I, I went against everything. I know what's the meta. As you can see, I got... This, this is what I got activated right now. Right? I'll show you defense offense, right? Defense, what do we got here? We got By we, Byron Jones, Bench Press. B Dog's got pick artist, but I might end up changing that. Troy's got bench press, Miles Garrett edge threat, Asante bench press, and Doomerville edge threat. Two edge threats and a bunch of bench presses. That'll get the job done for you, bro. Really, it really will get the job done for you. Offense, I, I lab, but I think I changed a lot of my abilities around a lot. I like the I like the lab and shit. So Vic, he's got quick draw escape artist. Andre Johnson got the route tech. Uh, Joe Thomas and Lane, they both got edge protectors, and Arians got reach for it. Most likely, I'm going to take Reach for it off him, and I don't know. We'll see what I'll do with that ability point. But that is basically it for all the abilities right now that are basically the go-tos, the, the best ones right now in the game. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, man. Fuck with your boy, man. And I'm out!